This video is going to be all about breadcrumbing. Now, what is breadcrumbing? Breadcrumbing is when an ex reaches out to you, but in ways that are not very straightforward and obvious. An example of breadcrumbing could be them liking a post on Instagram, or sending you a meme, or even liking this video. Now, you're left with the sensation of, what do I do about this? Am I supposed to follow up? Am I supposed to contact them back? And if I do, what's the fallout of that? I made this video because this person asked. One. A random message that means nothing and goes nowhere. This will be totally inconsistent and completely infrequent. You will almost randomly get text messages that say, Hey, or what was the name of that restaurant that we had spaghetti at three years ago? Basically, it won't really make any type of sense. And when you try and follow up on it, assuming that they actually just wanted to talk to you and maybe you even try and set a date, they don't even respond. They just kind of disappear. Number two can be very mixed signals. Maybe one second they're telling you that they miss you and they love you and they care about you and they want to see you. And same thing, whenever you try and follow up on that, they just disappear. It wasn't really about the actual contact, it was about the attention that they were reaping from you. Number three, and like I mentioned earlier, anything on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, whatever type of social media you tend to use, they're going to interact with it in some way, shape, or form. This could be a like on Instagram, this could be a post or a comment, it could even be something as direct as a DM when they're reaching out to you. They are wanting to hear from you, but they're not actually following up on it. That's what creates a breadcrumb. They're only giving you little bits, and those little bits do exactly what they want it to do, which is keep your hope alive, keep you on the hook, which is why it's so important to get to this next section. By the way, if the video was helpful so far, do me a favor, subscribe, hit like, and leave a comment down below. Have you ever been breadcrumbed? Now, I don't know about you, but when I have an idea as to why certain behaviors are happening, it helps me feel a little less anxious and a little more in control. So part two is about why do X's breadcrumb? What's in it for them? What do they get out of it? You either want to talk to me or you don't. But why are you giving me both? Basically, they want to know that you're still there. Now, the tricky part is they may not actively know that that's what they want. Because when you're breaking up with someone, there's a lot of consequence that you don't anticipate. You're lonely. You don't have any validation. You're wondering if you made the right decision. So what a lot of behaviors tend to follow breakups is things like being on social media, posting pictures of yourself, changing your hair color, changing something about who you are. The second half of that could be being on dating apps and looking for attention and validation through strangers. Number three is, yeah, breadcrumbing. They're reaching out to you, wanting to know that you're still there, wanting to know that you still want their attention, their affection, and that basically you're just kind of waiting around for them. It is so important not to give them that attention or affection because they haven't earned it. They broke up with you, they walked away from you, and it's gonna be their job to do the real work to earn you back, because after all, you're the prize. It's important that you recognize that because they need to win you back if they walked out of your life. So working on your self-esteem, working on your body, working on your mental health, these are all going to be so incredibly important and helpful and useful, not only for reconciliation, but for the betterment of your own personal life. Because as you level up, you need to demand that your ex does too. And if they walked out of your life, it's their job to walk back into it. You can open the doors for them, but ultimately they have to cross through. So we talked a little bit about what breadcrumbing is. And we talked a little bit about why it happens. Now let's talk about what to do if it happens to you. Oh, and before I forget, them asking to be your friend can be a form of breadcrumbing. Don't be friends with an ex that you romantically want back in your life. Just... Just don't do it. So now what to do if you've been breadcrumb? Let's say that your ex messages you tomorrow and they say, hey, or they like a post of a puppy you posted or something like that. If the message has been direct, you can respond to it. But if it's been indirect, like liking something you've posted on Instagram or sending you a meme with no context, well, then you can pretty much just ignore it. Now, why do we do this? Well, we want to show them that they can message you. You're not going to ignore them if they directly message you with actual words asking you a question or asking how your day is, but that you can put up a boundary and remind them, hey, look, while it's great to hear from you, I'm not actually interested in talking to you unless it's for romantic purposes. Some people don't like being that direct. They think that being that straightforward with what you want is seen as a bad thing. But I actually challenge that. I think what the bad thing is, is being indirect. You have been broken up with. They walked away from you. They left your life. Isn't it important for them to walk back in and do the actual work to be together? And in the same breath, you've been addressing some of the things that made them unhappy in the relationship, assuming that that was involved in your particular case. Make sense? 
So if it's direct, you can respond and even lead that up to a date. You know, it's been great talking to you again. I'd love to take you out on a date. When are you free? And if they say no, well, that kind of works in your favor too. Because what you're doing is setting up the expectation and the boundary you're only to message me if you want to work things out. I'm not interested in exchanging memes. I'm not interested in a platonic friendship. I'm interested in working things out. And if they do end up sending you something like a meme or some meaningless text where it doesn't require a response, don't respond. It's that simple. The reason I'm not diving into too much nuance here is because there is no nuance. We give ourselves nuance to complicate the situation, to keep ourselves confused, because our feelings are so complicated during this time. So we kind of translate that to the situation. If I'm feeling really complicated, the situation and the solution must also be really complicated. But sometimes it's just not. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I'd love to answer them. And if you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe, hit like, and I'll leave all the fun links down below as to how you can work with me. I'll catch you guys next time.